Hey guys, Tower here. How are you all doing today? We are back with the intermediate guide of Balloons Monkey City, second installment in this guide, and of a few things I guess I'll be going over. Uh, general topics will be uh, defeating tiles, defeating monkey v monkeys, and sending monkey v monkeys. I guess uh, that along with you know what the heck I build and stuff, what kind of towers you'll need for uh, later rounds, maybe what kind of quests you want to go for. All that will be taken care of. Um, first things first, I guess let's just go over what's going on in my city. I think what we have here, we have three banana farms, got three attacks. Uh, I'm not quite sure if I'll be doing all those. Got a bunch, few upgrades, just gonna go upgrades. I have only these buildings. I'm darting the 2 1, Snurper the 1 2. Um, trying to get these uh, things up. For uh, balloon sends, I'm already up to re rubber repair, and that's at level 12. I'm, yeah, I'm trying to actually prioritize this big time because here's the thing with monkey v monkey If you send strong attacks you will be able to win plenty of money like when I walked logged in I got four thousand dollar. Well, I mean actually twenty five hundred or so um, just from uh, <laughs> Getting monkey v uh, monkey wins which is very very useful monkey v monkey even though it kind of hurts the other people It's a great way to uh, earn some good cash for your city. So that's why recommend getting it along with you know your uh, bank stuff so the first things first I'm um, defending monkey v monkey if you're one of those people who gets attacked a lot you definitely definitely do not want to get attacked on tiles that are very very difficult like you know some of those like butterfly maps or like X Y or mustache some of those are just plain evil so here's a little trick that uh, will help you a lot with uh, defending Mo monkey v monkey what you do is you just take the tiles around your city click on this whatever I don't care if it contains camel balloons you go into it and you see if it's a hard map so let's see what this one is okay this map this is the handcuffs map and the handcuffs map is pure evil so I'm actually just gonna complete that right now it's actually a relatively easy map I mean even though it's camo salt um, just you really only need to spam dartlings in early rounds I would definitely recommend just basically going with dartlings and the occasional snurper and cannon for um for uh, support mainly lead sports I guess snurper for camel leads and also road spikes and pineapples I, I forget if I've actually told you guys to get these already but definitely get those just for starters two s buildings of road spikes and one of pineapples will be perfectly fine you should be good for now you, you just never know when you'll need them they're great for emergencies Alright guys, we uh, beat that tile, and I'm really glad we won't have to deal with any handcuffs map. Hopefully, for when uh, dealing with monkey v monkey. Now, now on that tile, let's uh, build some stuff. And guess what? I can afford the camo modification done, so I will get that. And I'm just trying to spend my money here. <laughs> While it may seem like kind of useless money spending, it's kind of what you want to do. A uh, little tip and trick for uh, monkey v monkey guys. If, you, if you're not sure if you're going to be able to hold off of this attack... I would definitely recommend spending all your money first because if you lose a monkey v monkey attack you will lose cash probably you will go down to zero unless if you have an absurd amount but really spend all of it beforehand just so you can stay safe the person who's attacking you will get, still get some money but you won't lose any so if you want to hold on to your money spend it all beforehand even if it's on relatively useless stuff it's better than not being able to spend it at all so here we go let's do our first monkey v monkey attack Dark 1 1. I can always send you leads while this is bad. Love your vids. Vids. Thanks, dude. And thanks for sending the attack. Let's uh, get this going. You know, I've barely touched this city at all since uh, the last time I filled this. So I have no idea if this attack was sent forever ago or if I just like a bunch of attacks die or something like that. Because, so, I mean, you do. I'm pretty sure attacks, like the 24 hour period, actually starts from when you first log on. So what the heck do I do in a case of monkey v monkey attack? This is high leads. The other two I did read beforehand were high whites and high pinks. Oh, and it's a freaking camo assault. So generally as a low level, you can't afford much. Dartlings are going to be your way to go. Yep, I say dartling a lot because really as a low level, this is going to be your jack of all trades. Um, You can't get anything extremely difficult sent at you. So... um. These guys are good against, you know, popping camo, popping decent amount of cluster balloons, popping fast balloons. Really, at, with the money you're given off uh, to start with, there's really nothing else that does as well as just starting off with darling guns. That is what you're going to want to do early on. 
um, just for now, at least since you can afford more stuff, and you really should be fine up, up until like level 15 with just going almost pure dartling guns. You're gonna need like a cannon and a snurper for like dealing with leads and camel leads and that kind of stuff. But I mean, dartling guns f are pretty much the way to go. Alright, now you can see what I'm doing right after we get my darling gun to 2-1. I'm upgrading my snurper to 1-2 so I can pop not only leads, but camo leads. And from there, I'll probably just go back to getting more darklings. Alright guys, after a couple close calls, I've managed to get all three of my darklings up to 2-1. I've used a couple road spikes and pineapples, but I haven't lost a life yet. So, yeah, kind of lucky there. But now I gotta buy some other stuff. What else can I get? Well, a cannon will be helpful. But generally, you do not want to get them in the front. Especially if you have a snurper. Uh, just because the snurper is so much useful by taking these leads down to greens. Which is much easier for your darklings to clean up than, say, well, like, two blacks. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna get this cannon right about here. That seems like a decent spot. And also all these zebras and stuff get taken care of pretty darn easily by a darkling gun. Don't try to provoke all those regrows. Like right away, just let them come to you. No matter how scary it seems. Like this seems pretty scary, I know. I'm gonna get a ninja right here just to help clean up a bit. But really, I'm gonna be fine. Look at this little zebra uh, upgrade ninja. Oh, how cute. But yeah, overall, these three darkling guns are gonna provide quite a bit of popping power. Like, so many just balloons have come at me but i ain't scared i'm just gonna put these guys down in the back for more pop popping power just because well of extra money and yeah with all this coming i'm probably gonna need all this extra popping power uh focus the camos with you know the towers that can pop camos and then you know the towers that don't pop camos like the bomb and the uh, boom rangers will clean up clean up the rest pretty, pretty well and i can say i've done a pretty good job all these camel leads, though, I might need the uh, help of uh, freaking uh, pineapples. Maybe not. It's gonna be close. I think the cannons got this okay. And we're coming down the home stretch. This is like the last of the balloons. Let's hope we can hold them off quite well. Regrows. Regrows are often an issue just because, well, the, they regrow into lots and lots of balloons. Focus those down to your darkness if you can. And there we go. We beat it. Yeah. Homeward bound. <laughs> Feel like a man. So anyways, counterattack. I salvaged a bunch of Lutonium. I could revenge him. But uh, look at this. Even the most weak attack costs balloon stones. Generally, as a rule of thumb, you want to send a very hard attack. If you cannot send a very hard attack against this person, don't send it. So that probably means you're not going to be attacking people that are too much higher than you. Unfortunately, the way this game is set up is... Um, that if you're attacking like someone that's the same level of you, as you, since I have 2,000 blue and I might, I might as well attack someone. Um, if there's someone the same level as you, if you're attacking them, you cannot come. Well, that's a bit too high up, but you cannot completely uh, fill up the uh, attack mirror. Like, look at this guy. I mean, even just a heart attack? Eh, no. No, not worth it. Sometimes you might want to go through quick battles a couple times, or you could go to attack friend here. And I have actually made quite a few friends in this account, and look for someone who seems a, is a, like maybe one level or two level lo levels lower than you. Maybe Hallfred, I'll go for this guy. Oh no, I can't even fill this up, so I'm going to have to go for a level lower than me. Yeah, so that's kind of the issue. You want to go for a very hard attack, but it's really hard to find those people with low city levels. So yeah, while I may have seen like a total... Uh, ass hat to my other accounts, Anacondas, <laughs> by attacking like people who are very, very weak. Well, I mean, not very weak, but I mean, who are much lower levels than me. I'm just doing that so I can actually get a very hard attack on. Um, and by doing that, you know, it's you have a much higher chance of salvaging monies. So here we go, Brett6594, sorry dude, but you're the victim of this attack. Very hard, Zebra Max. Um, I'm not gonna do any of these assaults, even though I would decrement definitely recommend doing camel assault one we don't have this and two when you're attacking someone who's relatively low level you have better you won't even most of the time you won't even really need this um the only time you'll actually need camel assault is when it gets to um well higher levels like rainbows and up maybe even camos and up is when you or no I, sorry leads and up is when you want to start using camel salt before then no need uh, just save your bloom stone so I attack later or save it for money so yeah bloom stone usage in the middle rounds what do we do about it well 
here's um I know I said in the uh, past guide that balloon stones are useless um, and later on sand yeah I kind of yeah, it, it didn't come off exactly how I wanted to say um, I know you guys are probably gonna carry that to the grave with me but um, here's how it kind of works in early rounds like before level 10 or so you're gonna want to use balloon stones for upgrading you know for speeding up upgrades speeding up build time just you just because you can't do that at all later rounds because everything gets so expensive um, you could also fill up your cache then too, but also at this point in time, balloon stones are g decent for filling up your cache now. Sure, I can't exactly afford something, but every now and then I will be able to afford something so I could f save up uh, for extra cash. Extra balloontonium, and I've never really seen myself doing it, I just end up waiting it out. It's not that big a deal. Um, so yeah, extra cash if you have any... Um, it's kind of useless to uh, be spending it on uh, speeding up upgrades because now, like the difference is, you can do stuff in the meantime while these upgrades are going. Like you can do things to just wait it out, so, like say go to sleep or go do homework or just do other random tiles around here. Like go looking for the hard tiles so your uh, so your attacks land on uh, easy tiles. Yeah, those are you know things you can all do pretty much. Um, also, power, you gotta make sure you can maintain your power. Probably gonna take on this attack shortly. But, uh, yeah. Was I going anywhere else with this? Oh, yeah, then come later. What the heck? Okay. Well, come later rounds, uh, balloon stones, then you're just gonna really only want to use them for attacks. So, early rounds, speeding up upgrades, or early levels, speeding up upgrades. Middle rounds, kind of filling up cash, but maybe transitioning into, um, like, Camo salts and also continues, and then late levels, uh, camo and regrow salts and continues. All right, we're back. So I've already covered uh, mainly the monkey v monkey stuff. I covered well what I do to defend it, little tricks and tips for there. I'm not gonna go into like anything that's kind of cheating. Well, not so much cheating, but I'm not gonna give any kind of unfair tips that aren't like a part of the game but yeah that's my uh, thoughts on monkey v monkey and also sending attacks beating the crap out of people yeah because i mean who doesn't love doing that like i can just imagine like uh there's like two proud gorillas or whatever of a town and, like hey, you know what instead of just duking out let's uh, let's uh beat each other with helium inserted balloons how's that sound and yeah apparently balloons totally beat the booty kicking their ass so anyways uh what i'm gonna go with next is well what kind of other tower should we get because i mean you're gonna you know run out of dartling guns you can possibly get it's like look i need to be level 14 for x but what else could you get what other towers are good for uh, middle rounds next thing you want to get is the mortar tower the mortar is actually very 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 helpful to get as well especially just burning stuff and all that very very useful and um yeah that's just gonna be excellent i guess also <laughs> um also for other towers i should probably i'm gonna clear another tile so i can uh you know get place another thing but uh beware guys mountain tiles dartlings are banned here and when my main entire army is dartling guns I would kind of be screwed if a monkey v monkey attack came so you should definitely try to get mountain tiles out of the way if you are going massive amounts of darklings early on granted i do still have other towers it's just not as much of them and i mean my army is of non darkling stuffs is significantly weaker so i'm just gonna go with like a bunch of boomerangers and stuff and also a ninja so hopefully all this together should work out and i guess i'll see you guys soon Alright guys, we captured this tile. In addition to the uh, mortar, also I guess, oh that's cool, it shows like new track that it shows up uh, in here. I guess we can just, oh my gosh, it's new. Also, we haven't unlocked the dingus one, I'm sad. But, yeah, anyways, where I was going with that, it's neat that it shows one there. But uh, also for other buildings we can get, um, besides the mortar, something also useful to get is the spike factory. You definitely, definitely want a spike factory building just to have it at the end of the track. One, it detects camo, um, which is 
kind of helpful. It also is just like a big protection. Like it's con continuous popping power is not that helpful. But every once in a while, like uh, a large rush that will come will come and just will get past your dartlings because they just somehow can't stop it but then this little uh, hero in the back will just have like an army of like 150 road spikes build up and that will save your bootay and your money too so uh yeah also we're low on power so i'm gonna capture this hopefully get this monkey v monkey uh pinks are the highest love tyler love you too or unless if it's like love Tyler and his name is Tyler too, but his name is what's up Jack So I mean I kind of doubt it whatever. So yeah, I need more power. So let's hope we can get this Shouldn't be that hard. It's just the river tile just same general strategy for almost all monkey from monkeys for now Alright guys, I have defeated not only the water attack, but this other little monkey from monkey attack here And in that time I got attacked by some mysterious stranger Dick, D Dick Stowe, Tex Terror, Te nah, Tech Terror, God, I can't talk, my mind just does not speak right or whatever, but yeah, I got this tile too, so what else can I get on here, I can just keep buying stuff pretty much, so I'm getting so much monies, so, oh, I need power, okay, then, uh, let there be upgrades, yeah, just speeding things up, I normally wouldn't bother with that, but one upgrade building I definitely want to get is the ordinance and munition support uh that is a very very useful building because that's what you need to get your mortar to burny stuff and also bomb tower to cluster bombs which is probably one of the most useful third tiers and moab mauler which i believe yes yeah, quest tier i'm gonna keep doing quick match until i find someone who is level 12 okay like this guy because this is the highest attack i can send even though it's just gonna be hard ranked and I'm probably not going to do any balloon stone. Hmm. I could. Considering I have the balloon stones. And I won't be using it for too much else. I guess scratch the using it for cash. Since. <laughs> why not. I might as well do this. Just just because. You want to get uh, very hard attacks. So yeah. Okay. Scratch the cash. But just use balloon stones for monkey v monkey. Continues. And possibly upgrading stuffs at this level. So. Now let's talk about regular tiles. Um, since the monkey v monkey attacks weren't too high ranked, um, you know, now we could go into strategies. Well, actually, I'm gonna wait until like the, some of these, uh, you know, f things actually get taken care of, like Bernie stuff on m mortars before I actually go into like heavy strategies for the uh, tiles. Maybe I'll do this one though. Freaking desert terrain and um. Rain rainbow camos i think that that'd be uh, kind of worth it so you can see my strategy spike factories are banned whatever these guys are favored but i mean probably won't be using them much dartling guns as you expected my strategy on pretty much everything for here for now will be dartling guns um so i guess like kind of in the meantime you might even want to just do some farming and stuff maybe this isn't like your best thing you could do i don't know I mean, I guess I'll still complete this tile, but then afterwards, I'm just going to go around my cities and play all the uh, hard tiles so I don't uh, get attacked on them. If you guys understand where I'm going there, I think you do, and I think it all makes sense. All right, guys, so here is our first example of danger. No lead balloons. I have nothing to defend. Oh, kaboom, kaboom. So, yeah, perfect example of why you should always have pineapples with you. Now my snurper, I can upgrade it, it'll be safe now, but yes, pineapples are a must-have for that exact reason. I would not want, would have, I would not have liked selling my snurper dartling for something that can pop leads and then like selling it back again for a dartling. That's just not worth it. Get pineapples, guys. Easiest way to deal with stuff. Alright guys, we're on the last wave here, almost about to beat this, beat this, and I guess I might as well say for regular tiles, do try to get no lives lost. Like if you end up seeing yourself lose a life or do... Don't be afraid to start over unless you're on really low time or something like that. Yeah, but don't be afraid to start over. Just to get those extra five bloom stones. Sometimes it's kind of nice to have. So, I mean, we got that now. What could we do? I mean, really, there's so much we could do. I should probably harvest stuff from my uh, banana farms or whatever. So I can maybe buy upgrades? I don't know. I mean, what could I, what could I possibly do? What could I do? I don't know. To be completely honest, I'm not sure. <laughs> I'm just at a bit of a standstill. Oh, I know. There's a something, possibly something else we could still build. Let's take a look. Ice towers can be useful. Yes. Probably want to upgrade that, though. 
Um, hmm. Oh, maybe a ninja ninja dojo. Yeah, ninja dojo is actually a pretty good way to go. I would definitely recommend getting a ninja dojo pretty early on because I mean upgrades for ninjas can come in handy. And then maybe eventually I'll actually start going for that ten dart monkeys achievement or quest or whatever that'll be kind of useful. And I could and or I could upgrade this windmill. Yeah, that'd kind of help. Maybe in the future. Then there's also these special missions around here like waddle trees and stuff. Waddle trees, as some might say. If you're have that sort of accent or whatever, I don't know too many people have that accent. I just like to do it sometimes. Waddle trees, and really though, you can't do much on it until you're until you're like rank. No, not not rank, but once you have like tier three boom rangers and stuff, then you'll actually start doing well on it. So at this point, I'll just kind I'll I'll just go around the farming now. Let's take a look at what level, uh, what if there's anything easy or hard to beat. All right, so this track. This track is pretty evil. This is not one you want to get a uh, monkey v monkey attack on. So I would definitely recommend uh, defending this attack. Since it's much easier to defend pinks on this map than it is, or even like camel pinks than it is to defend like massive zebra rushes. Much easier. So yeah, defend this map. Seriously, guys. By the way, what does this look like to you? I see it as kind of a face. Like, here's his angry eyes, then he's got like an angry mouth. It kind of reminds me of something from like... I don't know, an old Mario and or Sega game. Maybe something from Sonic or something like that. I mean, I don't know. I, I, I can't put my finger on it, but it just looks like some sort of angry face. Oh, no! Uh, uh. <laughs> Damn it, I suck. Take two. All right, we're back. I did a bit of farming, and I came across this. Victory, your balloon slept through uh, X-Streams 169's defense. Sweet, so we got a bunch of money off it, some honor, and that is what I'm talking about. Those random bursts of monies will help out so much. Oops, not what I wanted. I wanted to place that there. I'm kind of going for that one achievement. He also revenge attacked me, but damn, I got so much money. Can't get anything with it, though. Oh, I might as well just start on these. I mean, I suppose... Yeah, I mean, I might as well. Yeah, I'm going to go straight for Cluster Bombs. I'm going to go straight for Bernie stuff here. That's one that's uh, best. That's, a, that's kind of a good thing to go for, the Bernie stuff. Can I buy anything else? I mean, let's see. Let's kind of go into builds. Uh, don't exactly need that just yet. I could upgrade one of my buildings. Oh, Bluntonium Generator. I could go for that for sure. I definitely want to get that. That's kind of just as important as important as getting farms none of these not yet and let's see does this say anything it, oh got the little symbol for revenge, it's, re revenge attack so that is the revenge attack otherwise i think i'll just be playing stuff around here for now I'll catch you guys soon all right guys i have no idea why but i just really do not like this map at all at least not until we get to later rounds because in early rounds darling guns don't do so well on this map, really. So this is kind of one of the maps you want to get out of the way. You definitely don't want to get monkey v monkey attack on this, just because regrow balloons are so deadly on this one. Um, if regrow balloons comes here, you only pop it a couple times. When it it'll go down here, then come back around. Then there'll be like four times as many balloons, and that just screws you over. So I'm gonna try to defeat this map, get this one out of the way. I would recommend you do do so too if you get across this. You don't have to. But, I mean, this map is a ton easier to do once you get uh, to higher levels and you're able to start off with more stuff. And Ice Tower Starts is actually really good on this map. I might consider getting those. But not yet. I'm just going to stick with my uh, trusty old Dart Links and focus on other things, I suppose. Oh my gosh, guys. It's coming down to like the last four rounds. 34 to 15, 16. And we will have beaten this attack. Oh boy, I lost a couple of lives there when I wasn't paying attention. I was too busy doing other things. And, um... That I don't know. I, w I, w I wasn't paying attention, though, to be completely honest. But now, I am paying attention. I have my darling guns up. However, my lives is exactly the same as the amount of balloon stones I have. Oh my gosh. This can only mean one thing. It was the Illuminati. The Illuminati is real, guys. Fear the Illuminati. Um, yeah. As side notes, the Illuminati is totally real, and you should help them i don't know I, I have no idea where i was going with this but hey whatever i uh finished building uh all my darlings stuff so i'm probably gonna get my bomb cannon shooter 
uh, Mortar, and just a bunch of other random crap. Got all the Spike Factory too, so I'm relatively safe. Like, I should be fine. I might even just get like a bunch of boomerangers up here. This isn't going to be too bad at all, hopefully. This can be an easy, breezy, beautiful cover girl epic adventure of Justice and Doom. My Snurper's camo detection has not been put to use at all, sadly. No camos have come. However, there's some zero regrows, and those things can really, really hurt you if you're not right. Oh, sweet. Clave Thrower has finished being unlocked, so I'm actually going to get that. Oh, never mind. I, I, I take that back. First camos of the entire thing, and there are camo greens. <laughs> Uh, I, I don't know where I was going with there either. There we go. We're actually seeing some camos now. But I mean, however, it's a bit too late. And a couple of splints. I saw a camo zebra in there. But will all this be taken down? And we got it. That actually wasn't too big a deal. Chris eats poop is the wiener. Oop, we got a quest. Increased dark monkey population to 10. Ooh, we leveled up our city too. And we crushed this guy's pitiful balloons. Dark something terror. I was not actually able to read all that. Quest complete. Get three treasure chests. Sweet. And research ceramic balloon construction. So, I mean, I'll be getting that eventually. But now let's kind of go to upgrades. Let's upgrade some stuff. And I think I'll call the episode here since we ended on a pretty decent note. Uh, with that epic attack and all. Um, also, I might as well get frag bombs since I'm on the way there. Ninja, that's being researched. Whatever. I'll get that another day, I suppose. You... Damn, all this epicness going on in this episode, just way too much to contain. But I hope you guys benefited from these tips and tricks. We got up to level 13 now in our city. Don't be afraid to keep attacking me. Even add in some, like, camo and regrows, too, because I could uh, make some kind of early guide for those assault, even though it won't even make a difference with dartlings. But still, don't be afraid to add those. I'll give them a try, see if I can beat them. My honor actually really jumped up. I'm at 204 now. That was double what it was when it started. Whoop, whoop. Yeah, and um, Super Monkeys are going to want to get those eventually. Okay, so probably from here on, at least until like middle rounds, what else do you want to get? So I mean, from here, what you want to start getting in upgrades, you want to start getting to Cluster Bombs. Cluster Bombs is a very, very solid upgrade. You want to end up getting Signal Flare, another very solid upgrade. Um, helps out with tons of camo popping power and stuff. Um, ninjas, get those up to at least 3-2, because starting with ninjas can be very good. Surprisingly, ninja and mortar start is quite epic. Get both tiers of your uh, boomerangers, glaive ricochet and bionic boomeranger. You're going to want one and or both to take down these waddle tree special missions and get those. Uh, get that one quest for getting a special terrain. Uh, start going for Moab Maulers eventually then. Once you get to Moab Tiles, you're going to need that for, say, Moab Graveyard and just any other Moab Tile shipwrecked. Well, I think we've learned you do not freaking need uh, boats to stop it or to defeat it. So, I mean, what you'll have will be even fine against shipwrecked. You might want to get boats eventually, though, because those are good for uh, river tiles. But still, yeah, whatever. Just keep going around your city, playing all the hard ones. Play your mountain ones if you have them. I probably want to get rid of those sometime soon. Uh, let's see. Oh, and of course, keep leveling up your balloons. Ceramic construction is, a, is an important thing to get. You're, you're going to want to get that eventually. Uh, get the ceramic construction... Uh, quest get as far on that as you possibly can um, and am I missing anything camel village not so much yet but just like two three mortar both upgrades for bombs three two ninja uh, both upgrades for boomerangers even maybe even triple darts if you feel risky risque and of course don't forget to keep upgrading your bananas and stuff and all your balloons and stuff super monkeys I mean you can get it for the quest but I would not actually think about building those super monkeys just aren't too cost effective in defense so yeah you kind of want to go for other things and well i think that's gonna be about it uh thanks all you guys are watching hope you enjoyed uh yeah that's 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 a good amount of commentating for me i'm gonna go make myself a penis butter and jelly sandwich that's gonna be uh fun i guess and um I hope at least one person caught that. <laughs> okay, but anyways, um, thanks all you for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Tyler here, um, signing out, because apparently that's what some do. Tyler here, signing out, and have a great day. See ya.